we're going to create a label. Let me look for a label here in the object library. So a label displays static text, as you can see here. I've zoomed in. We're going to drag out a label and put it in the view controller here. In order to reference this label in code, we have to hook it up first. We're going to click on Assistant Editor uh, on the bottom so that it shows the Assistant better Editor on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to control click the label and drag it into the code. And I'm going to drop it just below the class declaration. I'm going to give this label a name. I'm going to call it my label and click connect. This is what's called an outlet or IB outlet. IP stands for Interface Builder. An outlet is basically a line of code that allows you to create objects in Storyboard and reference it in the code. If you have an object in Storyboard without a corresponding outlet, that object is orphaned and not accessible by your code. We're going to change the label right after the application and this view is loaded. So in the view did load function, we're going to write a line of code that changes the label. So it's my label dot string value. And I'm going to hit string value on the autocomplete. We're going to make this label display the text hello from Kevin. And we're going to make this label wider on the storyboard so that it can display the text in whole. Now we're going to run it. And we're going to wait for it to build. And now it's the build has succeeded. So here it is. So after uh, this window and this view has been loaded, uh, the text hello from Kevin shows up instead of uh, just the word label, which is changed to hello from Kevin. We can change different properties of a label. Uh, so we make sure the label is selected. So it's already selected. Let's change the alignment to center. So here we click center for alignment and the text color. Let's change to red. So we can choose a color from the preset here for red. So now the label text color is red. Uh, the background color can be changed too. Let's change the background color to blue. We use the system blue color. And we can change the font here. We can just click this T right here. And we can change this um, style to bold and the size to 20 and click done. And so now our text is a little larger, so let's uh, enlarge the size of the label box so we can see the text in full. So now that we can see it, uh, let's test by running it. It's going to come up right away.